1% of the United States citizens is in the military. Think of how small that number is. Raise your hand if you have a family member in the military. Okay, you can put your hands down. And then raise your hand if you ever thought about going into the military. Eight of you on the forms said you thought about going to the military, but only one person in this class has. December 9, 2019, I joined the Army National Guard. One week a month, I'm no longer a citizen, I'm an American soldier. In the National Guard, you can have two lives at once. While serving a country, the National Guard provides opportunities and benefits, but for some people, downfalls. I will first explain how the National Guard works and what the main role for the National Guard is in the military. Bonnie Vest, a research associate professor, explains, since 1966, the required obligations of a guard service has been to attend basic training with active army and thereon serve drill one week in a month with the annual two weeks in the summer. One week in a month, I go down to Mankato and I train as a soldier. This, you learn more about what you do as a soldier and you practice your skills. Two weeks in the summer, you go down to a uh, base and then you also do more training for your job and things like that. National Guard contributes to COVID by quotes Thomas Mitchell, an operational officer for the National Guard he explains what the National Guard does to fight off COVID. He says, National Guard soldiers from states across the nation have mobilized to support local operations, various capacities working alongside healthcare workers to screen, test, and treat patients, helping food bank packages and distributing food, building and outfitting alternative care facilities and sanitizing public vehicles just because you are in the National Guard or Army doesn't mean you're going to be shooting at the front lines. That is actually very unlikely to happen. In the National Guard, soldiers usually help with natural disasters such as tornadoes, hurricanes, and pandemics such as the um, COVID-19. Normally, as a National Guard, you do not get deployed and should be shooting on the front lines. You will be more safe and usually get deployed in the States. Army National Guard, the official Army website, explains, you're ready in short becoming a soldier. In 10 weeks, you'll be physically and mentally stronger than you've ever been and ready to join the team to protect America. This is, they are talking about basic training in that quote, and which is why I did last summer, and this prepares you to be <coughs> shooting on the front lines because technically, as a soldier, that is your first job, even though it's unlikely it will happen. Army National Guard also states, after basic training, your life in the military begins. AIT will teach you what you need to know to do your jobs and called your MOS. So your job is called your MOS and that's what AIT is for. And so you go AIT and you learn what you're going to be, what your role is in the military, which my role is a combat medic. So I'll be doing medical stuff. I'll be served by the EMT. And there's various jobs that you can do in the military. Next, I'll explain some downfalls in the National Guard. In contrast to downfalls, I'll explain some positives. Suzanne Clark, defense analysis, shows through statistics the correlation between citizens and National Guard suicide rates. So this is the, the green is the National Guard, and then citizens is the purple. And as you can see, it's obviously higher, but it's also lower than reserves and active duty National Guard. So that is also one of the downfalls because depression and suicide rates are higher as a soldier than they are as a regular citizen. But correlation to that, there's also so many different tutors for school and counselors that you can get through the National Guard Army for free and cheaper. And then um, Joanne O'Brien, manager and program analysis and Mitchell Waterhouse, writer and author, explains the numbers and defense security forces. So in Iran, that is how many people are deployed <coughs> through the Army National Guard. And then this is Afghanistan, how many people are deployed in the Army National Guard. And then this is like showing active reserves and National Guard. So National Guard is in between, but obviously way lower than active and then higher than reserves. So basically what security is, is like not shooting in the front lines, but you're more in danger when you go to countries like Afghanistan and Iraq. 
So those are the numbers for that. Army National Guard, the official Army website, says you can earn benefits to help pay for your education expenses. You can complete your education while you serve. So the National Guard pays up to Mankato State University's tuition, which is about $22,000. And the National Guard also helps pay for housing, insurance, and more. So right now we're all gonna be going to college and we all need money and stuff like that for college. So this is a great way to get those benefits and use them for your college experience. And like the quote said, you can serve while still going to school. In order to stay in the National Guard, you have to be in shape. As a soldier, you have to pass a test of push-ups, sit-ups, and a two-mile run. And this helps a soldier stay in shape. So as a soldier, you have to be in shape. And as a person, people like staying in shape, and it makes them feel better about self, and it boosts their confidence. So this is a great way to do that also. Lastly, I'll explain how you can join the National Guard and how you, and who can join. Anyone in the National Guard, you can join. You, can, you have to be between the age 17 and 35. There are many jobs that you can do as a soldier from engineering, medical, cybersecurity, weapons, police, supply, and more. It's like there's so many jobs that you can imagine. Just think, of, oh yeah, I can do that too. I can do that. And you don't have to stick to one job either. You can change your job after a year, after six months. It doesn't really matter. Danzel Wellborn, assistant professor at music education, explains, this is probably one of the best and most definitely stable jobs as a music performer that you can get. There are many opportunities that I don't think people realize. Even musicians, singers, or anyone can join the National Guard. This isn't just for athletes. Musicians and singers are also in the National Guard and they have various roles. So at basic training, there's a, a band that plays while you walk through graduation. So just because you're not an athlete doesn't mean you can't join. People join by getting recruited by recruiters and fully committing through a contract. So you go talk to a recruiter, and then after that you weigh your pros and cons, and if you feel it's right, then you can sign a contract, and then after that you'll be signed off to basic training. You'll get a uniform like this, and then you'll go to AIT, which is your job training, and then after that you come home and then you can go back to school and then it's just one week in a month and two weeks in the summer. As you can see, the National Guard has negatives but also many positives. Anyone who wants to join the Guard is and welcome to the family. Everyone knows the truth of the National Guard now. You can make a life-changing decision by either joining the National Guard and being that 1% or continue to being a citizen. Thank you.